Hey everybody, Vampire1444 here again, uh, just to do another update, uh, what I've got for, so what's November now, but this is more mostly end of October-ish, uh, there, there's not many, there's two, four, five, six, seven in total, and they're all blue rays, makes a change, uh, but the first one is from 88 Films and that is Splatter University now I haven't had a chance to watch this I did give it a quick check because there was a message on Facebook about some of these being faulty so I give it a quick check just to make sure that mine seems fine so yeah I'll be watching this tomorrow uh, it's a low budget obviously done by trauma so uh, yeah low budget um, so I'm not expecting hugely great things from it but y you never know um, extras you get actually not a lot, <laughs> not a lot actually uh, stills gallery trailers oh there's bonus I <coughs> bonus film by Richard W. Haynes, What Really Frightens You? The director of Splatter University returns in homage to Shock Lock. Um, yeah, so another little film on there, so I'll see what that's like as well. But this is Idiot Films Slasher Classic Collection number four. That's Splatter University. Next is another one I haven't watched yet but I'm really looking forward to it because the special effects are by Tom Savini who was always brilliant and again this is 88 films Bloodsucking Pharaohs in Pittsburgh so it'll be fun to see what this is like I um, heard a few people talk about it they say it's okay in places but the, like I say the, the effects are supposed to be good so looking forward to that You've got an interview with Tom Savini, some deleted scenes, a reversible sleeve, which basically all of these have the reversible ones. Uh, yeah, looking forward to see what that's like. That's Blood and Pharaohs in Pittsburgh. That's number 11. Uh, the next one I have watched, I watched it today. But I'd seen it before on a showbox, and that's it's a British werewolf film called Howl, and it's actually it's actually really decent, a really good film. Um, I was actually watching the Horror Channel last night, and they were doing the Fright Fest 2015 review, and they mentioned this film and talked to the director. And uh, he was saying how he didn't want the werewolves to look like the traditional werewolves. He wanted them to look like more human. He still gave them like uh, the double jointed legs of the animals and all that. But they are the more human in in the way they look. But they still look really good. And it's a very, it's actually a really good film. I really enjoyed it. Um, it's about a group of people on a train. And the train hits a deer, and that has the fuel line and all that. Uh, so the train driver goes out to fix it, and everything starts happening. The people in the train have got to fight to survive and all that. But it's a really well made film. This is a decent British werewolf film. Well worth getting if you haven't seen it. Um, Extras just says get behind the scenes with cast and crew and discover how Howl was created. So the sounds, the grey, the humans, the train, the werewolves. Which I haven't watched the extras so I don't know. I just watched the film. But well worth it, that's Howl. Uh, next is <coughs> The Exorcist Anthology. 
and this contains all the Exorcist films. You've got The Exorcist, the original classic, The Exorcist Extended Director's Cut, Exorcist 2, Exorcist 3, Exorcist The Beginning, and Dominion prequel to The Exorcist. So, it doesn't really say anything about uh, any extras on them or anything like that. Uh, yeah, really glad I got this because Exorcist 3 I think is absolutely brilliant. It's one of my favourites. I think it was in my top 10. Um, well, if it wasn't, it was just outside the top 10. But uh, yep, so I've got them all on one Blu ray. Well, there's actually six discs, like, but yep, not too bad. It was only about 20 22 quid from Amazon. So I'll go with me. DVD box sets down there of uh, of the Exorcist. So, yep, really glad I got that. I can see that's the Exorcist. Just show you the back there. I can't really see. Sorry for the glare. Oh, there we go. Yep, glad I got that. Next two films that just came today. Uh, two steel books. Excuse me, one moment. It's a bit of rum and coke there. A bit of black cracking. Right, um, next one Nick, is a steel book, and that is of the others, Nicole Kidman. And I really enjoy this film. It's one of those films I've got to see without anybody spoiling it. Like when The Sixth Sense and all that came out, people told us all about it before I even got to see it. So. I was quite happy to watch this a few years back without anybody telling us and really enjoyed the ending. And this is from Zavi and it's 10 quid. Uh, special features, uh, making of the special, a look inside the others, visual effects feature it. Um, and I can't even pronounce that word. Zero Derma Pigmentosum. What is it? An inside look at the disease, whatever the hell that is. But yeah, it's a really, really good little ghost story. Really enjoyed it. So when I saw it, I thought I, I want to upgrade because I've got the DVD. Yeah, but I thought I'd upgrade to the Blue Blu Ray Steelbook. Like, say, for 10 quid, you kind of gone wrong. So that's that one. Uh, where I put the next one? Ah, oh, yeah. Next one is another one that came a day. Um, I've got this on DVD as well, but it's the super bit where there's absolutely no extras whatsoever. And uh, it's an alright film. And that is Francis Ford Coppola's Dracula. And this is like the pop art. You just see the, the Dracula figure there. I say it's an okay film once you get past Keanu Reeves attempting to do an English accent. Uh, obviously, Gary Oldman is absolutely fantastic in this as Dracula. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, we own a ride, isn't it? And Anthony Hopkins, I think he does three roles. He's Van Heslin. And he's the priest at the start who curses uh, Dracula's wife when she commits suicide. And he also does the uh, the voice of the captain on the... I f forget what the ship's called. The Dimitri or Dimitri or something like that. So yeah, he had a, quite a bit to do in the film. But yeah, it's a decent enough film. Really worth getting. Um, Again, this is from Zavi, uh, £13. So, yep. And the special features you get over 30 minutes of deleted scenes, audio commentary from Francis Ford Coppola, The Blood is the Life, The Making of Dracula, The Costumes are the Set, The Design of Iko Ishiko. I assume she's the woman who did the costumes. Uh, 
A native visual effects of Dracula, methods and madness, visualising Dracula. So yep, yeah. glad I got that. Because like I say, the, the one I had was a super bit where you didn't get any extras or nothing at all. Yeah, it's just average. Like I say, you can't really see the back because the protective cover I've put on. But that's that. And last but by no means least. Oh, can you guess? Yeah. Hellraiser Scarlet Box Set. Absolutely fantastic. Sorry about again the lighting's not too great in here. So but it is absolutely amazing. Uh, so glad I got this and it's looking on Amazon and it's now going for like 120 quid. Which is you know <laughs> Yes, yeah, so I'm glad I got this for 50 quid. Pre-ordered it. It's absolutely absolutely fantastic all the stuff you get in it as well the three films uh, a bonus disc uh, Clive Barker legacy uh, two sh Clive Barker short films uh, Salamone and the Forbidden uh, the books of blood and beyond the literary works of Clive Barker basically just shitload of stuff Sorry for the language, but you get a, an amazing 200 page booklet about the films. Uh, yeah, Arrow of just, you know, that's 10 out of 10 Arrow. You, probably the best box set you've, you've brought out. So, so glad I got that. Uh, glad I've pre ordered uh, the Deep Red box set as well, because it looks like that might go out pretty quick as well. So, Yep, that's it so far. Um, hopefully, going to be ordering some more films next week. Because um, I'm sure the Children of the Corn trilogy comes out on Blu ray sometime this month. Pretty sure. So I want to, I want to be getting that one. Um, and we'll see what else I'm. I'm debating whether to get uh, the Dead 2 India as well. Um, but we'll see how I feel next week when I come to order them. See what, see what I do order, what I don't. So thank you very much uh, for watching, and I will see you next time. If you like it, give us a thumbs up. Uh, please feel free to leave your comments down below, and I will see you next time. Oh, cheerio, thanks very much for watching.